What is going on you stallions and stallionettes? AK40 Kevin here in the gamer heaven. So my new PC, the one with the 3080 in it that I'm all excited about. Yeah, that's been delayed inevitably, indubitably and without an ETA. Alrighty guys, so sharing my screen here, as I alluded to in that intro, unfortunately, my PC, that uh, Alienware R11 Aurora with the 3080 in it, is stuck in El Paso, Texas, which in case you guys don't know, Texas is having a huge, huge catastrophe over there right now with uh, a cold front. Not just a normal cold front, um, millions of people in Texas have been without power for about four or five days now. People are literally freezing in their houses. There's been 30-something casualties, like deaths. Um, because people are freezing in their houses, there's no heat, there's no power, water is not, is frosted over, so they can't flush their toilets. Um, I actually heard of some clever folks taking snow from outside and melting it in the top part of the toilet, like the top, uh, you know, where the, the flush water is at, and letting it melt in there so they can flush. That makes a lot of sense. This is a terrible place for my PC to have had to... Mute that there. This is a terrible place for my PC to have had to pass through. Uh, El Paso, Texas, and it says, you know, there's no, there's no, um, estimated time or anything. It just says delayed beyond our control shipment exemption. It was supposed to be here the 17th. That's yesterday. That was Wednesday. It's the 18th. I've gotten no updates. Um, so I have no idea when my PC is actually going to get here. Luckily, I already have a pretty decent gaming PC it has a 2060 super in it. Um, you know, it's not a, it's the PC you guys have seen if you've been around my channel, the, the Trooper 7 build. So it's a good PC, but I want that 3080 so I can start gaming, streaming, mining, and video editing with that thing ASAP Rocky, especially the mining part, like having it mine overnight while I'm at work, it's going to earn me a little over $300 a month after electrical costs. So that's money I'm kind of missing out on every day. I don't have it, but again, I can't really be upset or, um, even I, I'm not even super frustrated about this just because I know there's other human beings out there that are going through some really serious stuff and me getting a gaming PC, um, isn't that serious compared to what others are dealing with. So, um, it is frustrating and I hope it gets here soon. I hope I at least get an update, uh, letting me know what's going on, but you know, Texas isn't too far from Florida. It's, it's a few States apart. Um, but the fact is it's not leaving there right now because I don't know if the, the, the trucks, the roads are iced over and the trucks can't safely leave the warehouse or you know what, but my PC is just sitting there freezing its ass off, literally. Hopefully, the, hopefully it's not, you know, left just inside the container, the actual truck outside, because it probably is freezing the hell out of my computer. Um, that would probably degrade the long-term longevity of these components a little bit. That would suck. We'll see, boys. We'll see how she, how she turns out to my doorstep, I guess. All right, guys. Peace. Oh, but in a, in a happier note, there's also a video uploaded today. Um, I got a PS5 just nonchalantly walking into the next, the Navy Exchange. Just, you know, okay, it'll be here in four days. You're the first person on the list. We're getting a bunch of them. Awesome. You know, put my $100 down. Um, it's set in stone. I mean, it's from a military installation. It's not like I'm going to get screwed. It's not a scalp or anything. And it was uh, about $50 off what I would pay MSRP. It's $480 for a disc version instead of $500. And it's tax-free because it's, a, you know, the next. So saving about $35 in tax there. And it comes with an extra controller and a game and a bunch of other shit. So it's a good day overall. And I hope Texas, you know, they stay strong over there. All right, guys. Peace. Yeet.